Alright, okay, welcome back to another video. Judging by the title, you guys already know what this is about. We're not going to be playing any game today. We're going to be doing a lot and a lot of talking. The Anime Legends official trailer came out two days ago, and we're going to be talking about this. We're going to analyze it. We're going to talk about my thoughts on the game, my concerns. I've seen a lot of comments from you guys about the game. We're going to be talking about that as well. We're going to talk about their other projects that they made, because before we even learn about Anime Legends, we have to learn about their past history. And their past history, um, let me tell you now, they made Anime Fighting Simulator. So if you don't like that game, you might be in for a surprise. It's kind of a 50-50. But anyway, we're doing a lot of talking, no playing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is basically like a reaction video, but more in-depth where I talk about it and stuff. So yeah, anyway, make sure you guys hit the sub button, like this video, and without further ado, let's just hop straight into the video because this is probably going to be kind of long. Alright, okay, first off, we're gonna be talking about Block Zone. Block Zone are the people that are publishing Anime Legends, but before we talk about that, we gotta talk about their previously published game because you gotta know who's making the game first off. So, if you go to your homepage on Roblox and you go to Discover and you go to the front page of Roblox, they already have a game that's up here. And if you don't know what game that's up here that they made, they made Anime Fighting Simulator. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about this later. A lot of people don't like this game. Obviously, it has 27k players, which means it's doing something, right? But we're gonna talk a little bit more about that later. But but yeah, they did make Anime Fighting Simulator. This has no correlation to the game that they're making right now. Well, at least I'd hope not, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. But before we even talk about anything, I just want to let you guys know, it's made by the same people that made this simulator game. But anyway, this game, Anime Legends, has been in development for about, I think about six or seven months. If you go to their Twitter, it's right here, and you scroll all the way down to like their first couple of tweets, uh, you can find it where they did like an announcement trailer. Uh, it's here somewhere. Um, here it is. Announcement coming soon. This was December 25th, 2020. And as of today that I'm recording this video, it is June 16, 2021. So yeah, they've had about like, uh, I'd give it about like, um, obviously they had six months. I've given them about like 10 months. They had about like 10 months. Don't go thinking this game has been in development for a year plus because it literally has not. This game has only been made for about like six to 10 months, somewhere around that time span. We don't know. Next day passes. They tweet this out. The developers have worked really hard on this game for the past few months. So yeah, that confirms it. They probably had about like 10 months to work on this game. And we are excited to announce this small little teaser, Anime Legends. So let's take a look at this teaser real quick. So yeah, this is the teaser. This is not the trailer that everybody's going crazy about. If you look at the teaser, um, let me put this in one point. Whoops, my bad. Put this in 1.25 times speed. There's nothing too crazy about this trailer. They're just showcasing buildings and islands and stuff. It looks very amazing. Not a bad look overall. So yeah, that teaser came out and that's just one of the many few things they have shown. January 7th comes along and they tweet this out. It's a boss fight. And this trailer looks dope as hell. This is like, I've never seen something like this on uh, Roblox. Well, probably I have, but nothing that comes to mind. So look at this. He slams on the floor and as you can see from the trailer, it says official boss teaser. So you have 100% confirmation that Whitebeard is going to be a boss in this game. So this looks amazing. Like I, I like when I first saw this, I was like, wow. I'm speechless. I was like, what game is that? I want to play that game. So yeah, this is a really cool introduction to bosses that I guess every boss is going to have in this game. And like the island looks amazing as well too. This was one of the custom cutscenes that we played before certain boss battles. And this is the in-game footage of Tremor. Oh, so the boss is called Tremor. Obviously it's not going to be called Whitebeard for copyright purposes. But yeah, that trailer is amazing. And then they posted a couple builds and stuff. And uh, yeah, you can clearly see they are working hard on this game. And then they posted this. I'm going to pull this up on the YouTube channel because the quality is going to be bad on here. What you're about to watch is an official combo teaser and people went kind of crazy over this but nowhere near as what they did yesterday or the day before yesterday with the trailer so look at this this is basically like a little bit of the combat i guess and he's punching the dummy and uh he's just rolling nothing too crazy nothing too crazy so yeah it looks like it can have like an actual pretty decent combat system the animations look nice effects look pretty decent and uh yeah february 12th comes and they said that shops can be discovered all over anime legend universe purchase unique weapons gear and consumables to assist you on your adventure and they show us this little teaser trailer right here so as you can see he walks up to the shop and there's a katana that you can buy and it has a little unique description on it and i guess every weapon comes with a specific move because this one says it has lion's breath blink forward slashing through targets along the way dealing two times base damage so yeah there's that and then the next thing is a gun which is pretty interesting they have guns in this game 
game. Definitely probably gonna cop this. And it says terminate. Switch rounds to explosive ammunition for five seconds, dealing 50% extra base damage per shot. So like, as you can see, all these weapons that they're about to show are like probably from anime characters. I mean, you can easily just look at this and tell this is the same gun that Alucard uses. So like, I mean, it's so easy to tell that these weapons are based off anime characters. This is just a regular potion, of course. And this is a mana potion, of course. And this is a demon wind shuriken. Bro, if you watch Naruto, you know. Like, <laughs> I don't even have to explain this. And in the specifications, it says demon call. Throwing the shuriken at a long distance deals 120 damage, 1.5 times base damage. It skips with the weapon upgrades. So that's pretty good. Weapon upgrades are confirmed, I guess. And he purchased one. And then, boom. That's the end of the trailer. And now we're finally starting to get into the meaty stuff. And they showcase us this little uh, official title screen teaser. And it looks just like Genshin Impact. And that's very unique to me because I did not expect anyone to do the exact intro from Genshin Impact. But but here they are doing it all right so look at this anime legends and you press any key and this is basically like the loading screen default when you press play on the game and it looks just like Genshin man it looks really nice too and there's save slots so that's definitely amazing save slots are going to be a thing in this game so that's amazing to me dude because save slots are needed dude I cannot stand having like different alts I hate having to use alts in Roblox games that that's so annoying I hate it as you scroll through their Twitter you can obviously see tons of different maps and stuff that they're working on so this game is going to be huge like that's crazy dude and just sailing in anime legends too so yeah that's amazing and then finally uh march 29th comes and we finally get to see this exploration teaser so let's open this real quick i'm not gonna lie i was kind of hoping to see gameplay from this well i mean this is gameplay i was kind of hoping to see them just like go to a boss and just go at it or something but all they pretty much did was just run through the town and look good i guess that's about it so as you can see there's four people just running through the town uh, let me increase the speed a little bit because i have a lot of things i got to talk about so yeah they're just basically just running through the town and then that's it great outdoors and there's a chest over there she's about to open the chest and yeah there's weapons in it there's a keyblade and what is that a bow okay interesting that's all we got from that trailer and in a couple months past they show this little cool thumbnail this looks very amazing shout out to their artist this is very nice and they made this iron bridge from naruto <laughs> and what else did they show they showed something oh yeah this this is something that a lot of people didn't see this has no audio to it but basically he just opens this uh, little skill tree up, I guess, and he evolved his regular fireball into fire blossom jutsu. And forgive me for the quality, it's just Twitter quality. Twitter quality is awful. And a card appears, and then as you can see, he upgraded the skill. So, like, upgrading skills is going to be a thing, upgrading weapons, and this is going to be pretty nice, I guess. So, now, um, I think a couple more months pass, and then finally, they showcased us the little Anime Legends trailer, and this came out two days ago, so let's watch this real quick, and then after that, we're going to discuss everything on the game. This is the trailer that has everybody talking and freaking out, and it's an amazing trailer, can't hate. Look at this, this looks amazing, it looks gorgeous, and the music choice is pretty much perfect. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's from One Piece. Like, this, this, the visuals look out of this world. It looks amazing. That's the Leaf Village. Yes, sir. It looks amazing. And you can ride mounts in this game. That's pretty interesting. And you can have pets. As you can see, that guy has, like, a little fox running with him. And that's your party of friends. And then they're running up to a bandit village. And this is one of the things that have people worried about. But I'll talk a little bit more about this later. And now, finally, the combat. Everyone's been dying to see this. Yes, sir. You're going to have gin hunts in this, bro. Look at that. Look at this. A tail beast. And I guess these two are fighting. So I guess PvP is going to be a thing in this game because, as you can see, these two are fighting right now. I doubt that's just an NPC. I'm pretty sure that's a PvP match. Look at that. They're fighting the Jin. Just imagine you and your friends just fighting a Jin. That's so fun, dude. Like, I remember doing it in Shindo Life. It was stressful, but it was kind of fun, too. And that's the two tails. Whoever their modeler is looks. Oh my god. Look at this. Animations are clean. <laughs> anime legends and yeah that's the trailer that has everybody freaking out it looks amazing definitely can't wait to play this game so i'm pretty sure that's it for the rest of this trailer 
Is it? Yeah, it is. Coming soon, free to play. So the game is not going to be paid access. All right, so now let's talk. So this game, obviously, we all know it's been in development for about 10 months. There's a lot of things that people are freaking out about. And when I say they're freaking out, they're talking about like the trailer. You can analyze this trailer and get a lot of info out of it. We don't know what the progression like, but based off the trailer, we saw the progression and they're fighting these bandits that are in this bandit camp over here. So this made everybody to assume that, oh no, it's going to be a bandit beater. I mean, yes, it probably is going to be a bandit beater because it's an adventure RPG type game, but still, it could be a bandit beater and still be good if they pull it off right. As long as it has some sort of end game or something you're supposed to be grinding towards, that's good. And it doesn't even have to be PvP. Usually I'd say a game needs to have end game PvP to be really fun because you need something like, I can't just sit there grinding, grinding and grinding off mobs just to have like no sort of end game. I need something to do at the end after I'm done with all my grinding experience. I need to be able to either fight someone, um, fight some crazy boss to get even stronger armor, prestige or something. Thing. there has to be something to do end game if there's nothing to do end game and all you do is just literally grind and grind and grind ah that's not gonna be good but as you saw in the trailer there's pvp so hopefully there's gonna be like some like arena place where you and your friends can just duke it out and just go crazy on each other and fight and have fun another thing people are worried about is that is this game gonna take ages to update my answer to that probably yes it's kind of nothing you can really do if the updates take long especially if the devs are like perfectionist or whatever i don't know a lot of devs consider themselves perfectionists, even though some of their stuff looks questionable <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it at that but yeah this game is probably gonna have updates that take a long time but one thing that i can hope that they do properly is that when the game releases have a lot of content ready they're already doing something that i really love at the moment they did not announce a release date they didn't even say a year release date they didn't even say it's gonna be coming this year or next year and i love the fact that they didn't announce a release date yet because let's say they announced the release date and they say 2021 people are gonna be like grilling them for like updates or something you guys haven't said anything and the game is supposed to be coming out this year something give us something give us something these people are gonna be like fiends they're fiends roblox players are literally fiends when they want something they're gonna demand it <laughs> they have mob mentality but basically what i'm saying is that roblox players are grinders and they are fiends if there's not up to like 50 plus hours of content when you when this game drops oh man oh i'm gonna be kind of disappointed i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be kind of sad and disappointed because i remember when one of my favorite games dropped um what was that game lumian legacy if you look up lumian legacy today lumian legacy is a game that was basically pokemon bird bronze but as you guys know nintendo literally clapped them then the game became pokemon bird bronze like a year later they rebuilt the entire game up from scratch and they made their own monsters or whatever as you can see the game has 2.5k players it is not doing nowhere near as well as everybody expected it to do i mean it's still out there but like like it's it, it, it's not big it's not big i'm sorry it's just not it's not your gpo gpo's paid access and has 7.4k players that's crazy it's not your anime fighting simulator it's not your shindo life it's not your all stars it, it's it's just not it's not it's not big i'm sorry it's just not everybody that knows me knows i was hyped for this game i was gonna play this game like my entire channel was gonna revolve around this game because when i first made my youtube channel my entire channel was brick bronze if you go to past live streams on my channel you can see right here i was doing tons of live streams of just brick bronze I was just playing this thing seven hours six hours and like i didn't even have a mic back then and all i did was just play pokemon like I, pokemon's one of my favorite games that's all i played all these live streams right here i had no mic i was literally just text chatting while playing pvp it was like crazy but like i love pokemon that's all i did pokemon Brick bronze dropped and then i did a release stream and i finished every single thing in that update in just two hours and like that that was so disappointing i have never been like more sad in my life like okay dude, that, that's that's exaggeration but like i was so disappointed i completely beat everything in that update in one hour i mean in two hours my bad i live streamed the entire thing like i was so hyped during that entire live stream and then i played it i beat the gym and then after that i was like okay let's go i'm about to go to the next gym and then the lady says route four is under construction or some crap and then stop me from continuing that's all the content that was in that update so basically the game dropped and it only had one gym do you you know how sad i was everyone was so disappointed that game dropped and it had like 100k players or probably 200k i cannot remember but it had a massive amount of players because everybody was anticipating the release of lumi legacy and then it only had one gym dude these dudes were so mad dude oh my lord but basically what i'm saying is that when this game drops anime legends i swear please do not have like just um i i can just 
burst through the entire content in the game in just 12 hours because roblox players are fiends like we play roblox for hours on end i know this isn't a triple a game or anything but like please make a lot of content before you drop this game that's why i love the fact that they have not announced a release date don't announce a release date until you have tons and tons of content because if they drop like a release date they're gonna get pressured into making stuff and then things aren't gonna be as fun and then like quests and missions are just gonna be rushed and they're just gonna be like literally you just fighting mobs over and over or not mobs over and over but you're just gonna be fighting like the same like group of mobs over and over and just farming that until like the next update or something please do not rush the content don't drop a release date until like tons of content's done because i'm telling you now if i play this game and i finish everything in one day i'm gonna come straight back to this video and get this clip and last but not least the last thing i see people worried about is the fact that they made anime fighting simulator this is basically their money maker they made tons of money from this game it has over 1 billion visits on roblox that's that's crazy do you know how much premium payout is <laughs> holy crap that's a lot it averages about 30k players every day i'd say about like 30 to almost 40k but it's 1 a.m at the time i'm recording this video so 28k is fine and they constantly update this game it has like a battle pass and all that sort of stuff but a lot of the older audience on roblox hate this game because it's a simulator me i i don't like simulators you guys know me i i literally i don't play simulators i just can't it's just so boring to me but even if Roblox is a kid's website, do not forget that. And most audience on Roblox are, majority of them are like kids or teenagers. So this game is appealing to that type of audience, not to us older audience. So people are thinking that, oh no, these dudes, all they know how to do is make kids games. So when Anime Legends drops, it's just gonna be a bandit beater or a simulator or some crap. No, bro, it's not, relax. These are two completely different games. I have faith in them. They made all their money from Blog Zone, so they don't have to feel pressured into like making rushed Anime Legends content to where you just beat on dummies all day. And from all those trailers, that we already seen we already know it's not just gonna be just like that it could take a 180 in development and then just goes completely crazy and then it just ends up being like that but i pray it's never gonna happen like that so i'm not gonna lie if i was a kid and i was playing roblox i'd probably be playing anime fighting simulator a lot but like i'm not a kid like it just doesn't appeal to me but i did start playing roblox when i was a kid when i was playing roblox when i was a kid i was playing like those dbz games or i was playing like some anime tycoon or some crap so this game probably would have appealed to me i wonder if the anime fighting simulator owner plays this game like that like no not i don't even mean like devving i mean like playing his game like that and literally just has fun just actually playing the game who knows but anyway that's pretty much it for this video i've talked for a long time now and i need to go drink some water it's a lot of talking anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video this this was just kind of a different of a video i was just pretty much talking the entire time getting my thoughts off about anime legends and i'm pretty sure this game overall is it's going to be a good game i'm pretty sure it's going to be a solid fire game hopefully it does not go crazy and then i have to come back to this video and just look at it and be like damn where did we go wrong <laughs> but yeah hopefully it doesn't end up crashing and burning but i have faith anyway that's pretty much it for this video i'll see you guys later take care Bad guy, bad guy, catch me on a bad night Best know how to act, why do you want to see my bad side? Hey, wait, I'ma disengage Jujutsu so so you gon' see this magician play Now watch me switch, I flip the script, unleash that inner rage And if I ever let Sakuna out, you'll witness pain Yeah, I'm